Hi there folks, Andrea Cox here with thehealthyhaven.net and alkalizewithandrea.com. I wanted to do this video for you guys today on juicers. Um, I wanted to do a, a comparison of juicers. Now I have three juicers here. All were gifted to me by the companies, which is like awesome, all but the Jack LaLanne. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to go over my take on all three. I'm going to start with the Green Star here. So I'm going to move this out of the way and get the handy dandy Green Star here. You can see it's really dirty. It's been used a lot. I've actually had the Green Star for about seven years now and I've used it probably every day. Here's the thing with the Green Star. The Green Star is amazing. It's a twin gear for greens like parsley, romaine, you know, cucumbers, things like that. It's amazing for the leafy greens like kale and, and things of that nature. It, you really get a lot of juice out of it, but people complain that it's hard to clean. And the thing is folks, it takes me five minutes to clean this. So I don't know where all of that's coming from, but it takes me five minutes. Um, so this is my number one pick. It's about $600. Um, the company has sent me two uh, when they saw I was doing videos, which I think is amazing. I've got two in a box right now that I don't even use because this is my guy right here. Um, his name is Fred, by the way. Okay, so that's the first one. So I love that one. Now the second one, you can see it's not put together. It's an Omega juicer. I just kind of wanted them all to fit here. So. Okay, here's the thing about Omega, and I love you Omega, thank you for sending me your juicer. But I found that the Omega was only good for like carrots and celery. Um, the way it comes out, it has like a spout. It just, my leafy greens that I love to juice where most of the nutrients are, they just weren't going through the juicer properly. So Omega, not so much, unless you're a huge carrot juicer. I mean, if you're doing Gerson therapy, Omega is your juicer. Okay, now my latest toy. I actually bought this one for myself, and when the UPS got, guy got here a few weeks ago, I like jumped him in the doorway. He's, he really likes me now. Um, okay, so this is a Jack LaLanne, and I love the Jack LaLanne juicer. Why do I love the Jack LaLanne juicer? Um, you can stick things like whole apples in here. See. Done, like a whole apple. Well, I guess I'm juicing an apple tomorrow morning because I can't get it back out, but you can like stick whole cucumbers in there. You can stick, I've stuck a whole entire head of celery in there, just chopped off the end romaine lettuce, and the juice comes out beautifully. Um, I love the pulp catcher because I make breads and cookies and, and, and um, cakes and things in my dehydrator from the pulp. So I love this juicer, 10 thumbs up. But here's the thing. It took me an entire week to learn how to clean this juicer, an entire week. Um, I just couldn't figure out how to get it apart, but I think I've got it figured out now. You just kind of open this like so. There's, there's the apple. And then it comes with a little tool and you turn it and it opens. Uh, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. So you turn it and it opens and then you stick it back together. So I've been using this juicer the most. I still use my Green Star if I'm making like a super intense, like stinging nettle juice. I never break out the Omega. Again, I love you, Omega. Thank you for sending me this juicer, not the juicer for me. Um, so there you go, folks. There's my juicer rating for uh, 2014. Let me know your thoughts. Um, there's some juicers I haven't tried, like the Breville. I'd love for you to post your comments below. And hey, if you want more tips and never seen before videos, definitely sign up for my new members section at thehealthyhaven.net. Andrea Cox, be well.